there has been a tremendous change in what I've done since I graduated from IU East in 2004 to where I'm at now. And, and I put more thought into it of what did it take for me to succeed to where I'm at today. And, and it comes down to two things. And, and these principles will work for anyone. The two parts are you and other people. There's nobody that has had any measure of success who has succeeded on their own. There have always been other people that have helped them along the way. And mentorship is one of those ways. Having somebody that has gone down the road that you're going to go down, that you can ask questions, ask advice, and just have somebody to confide in on your frustrations of, of not receiving this success as quickly as you'd like. The other part was you, and that's the most important part. You guys have already shown that you have what it takes to succeed. You're here today. You need to carry those principles along. It, every one of our points during our education, I think we can reflect back to a point where we thought we were going to quit, where we said, you know what, I, the frustration's too high. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But you persevered. You didn't allow that roadblock to become an excuse for failure. Journalist Charlie Rose told the graduates of Colgate University in 2002 that the greatest story you will ever tell is your own. In my case, 35 years ago, I was the first in my family to attend college. Since a university education was not readily available, I had to travel 10,000 miles and leave my family behind to pursue my dreams. My personal journey to a degree involved sacrifices, but I experienced a diversity of people, experiences and ideas that changed my life, and I met my wife. My college experience made a real difference in who I am today. It was truly a transformative experience. Those many years ago, I never imagined I would be here addressing you as the chancellor of this vibrant campus, which has seen so many stories of success. In courage, we have sacrificed the ease of staying the same for the challenge of becoming something better. In strength, we have conquered adversities that have st stood against us and in humility, we accept these honors now bestowed upon us. In my four short years here at IU East, I have come to discover characteristics of life that have often been overlooked. And today, as we bask in all that this moment truly means, let us evaluate life together. Just over a decade ago, the President Emeritus of Cornell University, Frank Rhodes, compared knowledge to a currency. He wrote that, Unlike other natural resources, it is multiplied even as it is shared. It is refined and perfected even as it is challenged and tested. Ultimately, he continued, the university is the creator, the conservator, and the mediator of knowledge. Today, as we gather to celebrate the time-honored ceremony of commencement, you, our graduates, are far more even than the keepers of such knowledge. Indeed, each of you has entered and helped shape different worlds of knowledge as you have made your own great investments in your future here at IU East.